So in today's video, I might just have the best golf swing drill that you will ever use. Now, no pressure there then, is there? But I'm being genuine with that. That's not just a, a your throwaway comment. What I'm gonna show you in today's video is absolutely gonna get you swinging better. Reason being, nearly every golfer tells me that their practice swing is better than their actual swing, and they'd love to be able to put their practice swing on the shot. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today with a great little drill and exercise that I use a huge amount myself, but I use with every single golfer that comes to see me, and the feedback is absolutely the same off everybody. And therefore, I'm gonna share that with you today and get you hitting the ball better than ever. But just before we get onto that, if you're new down to my channel, welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch my content. Regarding my content though, if while you're watching today you're enjoying it and you don't currently subscribe, I'd love you to hit the button below, ring the little bell and give it a thumbs up. That way I know which content you guys love, I know what you want to see more of, and if I'm not feeling the love, obviously I won't make any more of that. But for now, let's show you that this exceptional drill that I use with every golfer. Right, so like I said at the start there, this is a drill that I use a massive amount with clients when I see them face to face. But kind of weirdly, it's the first time I've ever done a video on it. So I hope you guys run through it with me and really see the benefits that I see with golfers when I'm seeing them face to face. So most golfers will tell me that they stand over the golf ball, they make their practice swing, and they think, oh, feels great. That feels like the ball would have gone pretty straight, good distance, it felt nice and relaxed. It just felt really simple and dead, dead easy. So they get over the golf ball, and that happens. So not disastrous, but most golfers will say that their practice swing and actual swing are so different. I mean, chalk and cheese. And I think, hopefully, you'll agree with this, that most golfers would say if they could hit the ball with their practice swing, they would be a much better player and a much more consistent player, good consistency, than they are now. Now, what I'd love to know from you guys is, is your practice swing better than your actual swing? Comment below, let me know. It'd be interesting to see from you lot watching how many of you agree with that kind of statement because I hear it all the time. So, if we say the practice swing is good, but the actual swing isn't quite as good, what is the difference between the practice swing and the actual swing? You're going to be very interactive on this video. I'd like to comment below what is the difference between practice swing and actual swing. Absolutely, it is that, in this case, little white golf ball. And it creates some huge issues for golfers. So golfers try and hit the ball. They try and get the ball in the air. They try and make the ball go straight. They try and make it go as far as possible. They try and strike it correctly. But all five of those things are all about the golf ball, not about your golf swing. Now what should make golf an incredibly easy game, and I think we'll all agree it isn't, is that that golf ball is stationary. So in theory, once we set up to that golf ball, it should be very easy to get that club back on the ball in a fairly consistent manner. Certainly a lot easier than many ball sports where the ball's moving. But the nice thing with a moving ball sport is they're reactionary, so it doesn't give you too much time to think, and very often you're not trying to be too perfect either. Whereas because that little golf ball is stationary, ooh, it gives you plenty of time to think about it, doesn't it? And that doesn't always help. So what if we had an exercise where we could 
swing, do the practice swing and it feel great, but actually be able to concentrate exactly the same when we hit shots. So that's coming right now. So this is something I do with all my golfers. And we're basically gonna get you practice swinging with your eyes closed. Now you can wear a blindfold if you want, but you're gonna to have to trust me. And if you need verification on this, I can get little testimonials. We're gonna close our eyes. We're gonna set up once we're ready, close our eyes and make a swing. Now the first thing a lot of golfers will notice there is they feel a little bit kind of off balance. And that's very much the case that they are. And what's happening is kind of where the pressure and the weight is in your feet isn't necessarily correct. So what I would say is make a few practice swings with your eyes closed and just don't try and do anything different. Just allow yourself to learn what that good balance feels like. Now that felt great. I definitely I fell back a little bit on that one. And one more. And that felt really good. And definitely for me, when I close my eyes, and I just, again, please comment when you're doing this and let me know, because I always like to know what different golfers kind of think and feel, because we're all different with that. But it definitely feels for me that if I take all the the visual distractions away, external, I can really focus on the internal stuff that I'm doing. So if that's dead easy, which it is, and you might fall over on the first one or lose your balance, but we're now gonna set up to the golf ball. And yes, you know it's coming. We're gonna close our eyes and we're just gonna swing. I don't care if you miss the ball, top the ball. I'm just interested want you to really focus on your golf swing, whatever it is you're thinking about, when your eyes are closed, want you to set up to the golf ball, make the same swing, maintain your focus, and then just give me feedback as to what the swing felt like. So if I set up to the golf ball now, and when I'm ready, close my eyes and make a nice full swing. That felt absolutely ripped. And I hope you can see that on the screen there. That's probably the straightest shot I've ever hit. So, do it. And I'm not promising your first one will be like that. But I would say a really huge percentage of the golfers I see, their first shot is fantastic. And the feedback I always get is, wow, how have I done that? because I wasn't even looking at the ball. Boom, that's right. You weren't looking at the ball, you weren't focusing on the ball, because if we've set up well, and the club just moves around our body nicely, we should collect the golf ball. Now, before you get super excited that you're gonna hit everything perfect, I want you to do another one. Setting up, when you're ready, close your eyes and swing. That one was a little bit thin, still a very good result. But I'll generally see with golfers that the first one's actually quite good. The second one isn't normally as good. And for me, the reason being, on the first one, there is no expectation as to what the result's gonna be. So because there's no expectation, there's no pressure. And because there's no pressure, you put a good swing on it, you collect the ball, and it's great. There becomes the problem, doesn't it? So that second shot, expectation. We're suddenly expecting, maybe not a great shot again, but we're now expecting to hit the ball, aren't we? We're expecting it to go in the air. Probably, if you've hit your first one like I did, expect it to go straight, expect it to go a decent distance. And I absolutely ripped the first one, so I'm expecting to do that again. So even though your eyes are closed and you're not looking at the ball, you're definitely more aware that the golf ball is there. And as soon as that awareness is there, that takes a little bit away from the focus as to what you're doing, and it changes your performance. So, I'm gonna go again, eyes closed practice swing, really focus on what I'm working on. That felt absolutely what I was doing. 
and then we're going to set up to the golf ball, close the eyes and swing. That was as good as the first one. Absolutely ripped it. Just tiny little fade, which I actually don't mind. Anything that's not going left at the moment is good. But like I said, you know, I think eyes closed as a practice drill. I mean, I would ultimately say, and I've never actually done this myself stupidly. Maybe there's a video in that. You could play golf like that, in theory. Because all it is about, the golf ball doesn't know whether you're looking at it. It just knows where that club comes back, where it's pointing, the angle of attack and the path to influence where the ball goes. And as long as you can get that club moving through where the golf ball is well, the golf ball will fly well. But the big thing for me is try to take your focus away from the golf ball and the worry and the consequence, because that is the big difference. You know, I can stand in here, hit good shots. I can stand on the driving range, hit good shots. If I don't do it when I'm on the golf course, what's different? Yes, I agree the lie might be a bit different, the stance might be a bit different, but they're all things that once I'm set up over the golf ball, I can't influence that. All I can try and do is make the best golf swing that I can make, and if I make a good golf swing, should I hit a good shot? Yes, in theory. Unless I've got a horrible golf swing. Please don't comment on that one. But I love it as a drill. You know, and you get there, eyes closed. Again, felt absolutely ripped. Nice and straight. Some of you guys actually might make the comment that maybe you should play golf with your eyes closed more often. Certainly the results the other day, I didn't really want to see those. But I think if you can improve your focus on what you're doing and let the ball be collected at the bottom of your golf swing, you're going to hit so many more good shots. And like I said, this is a drill I use a lot for me, but a huge amount with the golfers that I work with. And I see some incredible results with it, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below, please leave me some feedback. You know, the more feedback I can get on these videos, the better videos I can get, and the more I can make to help you guys improve your golf. If you have enjoyed it though, and you don't currently subscribe, I'd love you to hit that button below, smash the bell, give it a like, and that way you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.